Hey, it's Kyle. I'm doing five minutes at Five Ring. Got the Five Ring hat on. Um, it looks like the Blair Witch Project in here. I'm driving a tractor at Chattahoochee. I'm aerating footing because the footing is rock hard and I'm running a horse tomorrow in the two star that I love dearly. And um, although I don't intend on going fast, I intend on at least giving him the best chance I can provide. So I borrowed their tractor, I'm aerating, and somehow it's gotten dark on me and I don't know where the lights are in the tractor. So for those younger generation people, the Blair Witch Project was a movie that uh, revolutionized bad movie making by making it inexpensive to do and there was a lot of this sort of stuff with the camera turning off and then ghosts and stuff like that. So if all of a sudden a ghost jumps up from behind me, you'll know that I'm trying to reproduce that. Anyhow, uh, my horse is really good today for those of you who care, which is probably like maybe two people, probably my mom and my dad. There we go, mom and dad, my horse is really good today. Would have got a 46, but I went off course. So he got a 48. Otherwise, I think he'd be leading now after show jump because he show jumped clear. This is the horse Trust Fund, who is a homebred of ours, and I absolutely love and adore him, which is part of the reason I'm going to go a little pokey tomorrow because I really am trying to get him prepared for the Pan Ams. Um, I'm hoping that he will be on the team because I think he could be a serious contender at that at the games. So. So far, I have not crashed the track, which I think is pretty impressive. Um, and there'll be a little bit more of a follow-up probably on this on this update. I'm just trying to think. We got right now. We got two kids here. One in the advanced is leading the advanced division. One in the intermediate is leading the intermediate division. Obviously, we've got a lot more students than that, so I don't mean to offend the other ones that didn't get a mention here. I think of all the kids today, we had maybe one that had rails and show jump. Everything else was clear. Um, which I was pretty happy with all that, obviously, as a coach. And so I'm sure they're going to give me huge amounts of money for bo in bonuses for that performance because that's how coaching works. When people do well, they just write you more and more large checks and make you happier and happier, and they never complain to you. And that's why I enjoy it. That's why it's so fulfilling. Um... Anyways, it looks like I need a shave, actually. I don't like doing these selfie things because I am not a Kardashian, thank God. And although when I was younger, one of my heroes was Bruce Jenner because I am from that era. Um, none of you will probably remember the younger generation that he actually was on the Wheaties box and was an Olympic athlete of huge caliber and huge success. And so now it just sort of shocks me and scares me that whole thing so the selfie stuff I know Laney's big into it but it's not my not my scene so anyways um, we'll try to pair some other stuff up with this maybe for the rest of the weekend and I can see myself dancing out here we got the music which is the nice thing in the tractor they got in a great cab air conditioning which right now I don't need because it's dark and it's a little chilly um, anyways we'll talk to you later ciao so here we are, we've got a new venture going on at Five Ring, uh, ourselves and uh, some clients have bought a farm next door to us, 31 acres, and we're clearing it out, and we just came over to look at the clearing out that's going on, and there's a peacock from my neighbor's place, it's now hiding and running back into the woods, so we're not going to probably get to see it. Oh, uh, there it goes up on the fence line. So that's kind of a neat addition to it. Anyways, obviously, if you look off into this, there's all these vines and trees that have been touched in forever. This is our whole farm was like this when we bought it and we had to clear it out. At the time, we didn't have a tractor. All we had was a truck. Well, actually, we had an SUV that I used to drive around on the top of and cut everything down with a chainsaw. And needless to say, I destroyed that, but it was all I had available. So we've been doing this. I've had a guy doing this over the weekend. He's done a really good job. If you pan over there, the barn site's been set up, so we're going to have a 14 stall barn. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm planning on putting in really nice stalls, rubber matting, going to have a hay barn and washout area behind it and grooming stalls in it. And then over behind my truck here, we're going to have, well, we have a house that we are redoing presently and making it into probably two apartments and then a three bedroom house that we're going to be renting out to people. We're going to put a ring in here and the whole property's 
open now and we're redoing all of the fencing and have paddocks and everything. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna keep keep you up to date on all of this as we're doing it. Um, I think you're gonna be really it's gonna be really impressive when it's done. I'm really excited about it because I love developing property. I had a real good time doing ours and I'm excited about all this and planting a bunch more trees and stuff like that, which anybody who's been to our farm knows obviously I have a little bit of a thing for trees. So that's five minutes of five ring this week.